Hello everyone, I'm D-Mind, the mind of one and all, and welcome back to another episode of No One But You. I hate that show. Uh, in the last episode, we got the real ending. Didn't manage to get the goal. But I have a theory. I don't think we need to play back all the way from the beginning. I have a theory that we may be able to save salvage the situation. Um, where was that choice? I think it was at number one. Yeah, here. Alright, so this is the choice that I think we can change the entire um, ending because... Well, the thing that made me suspect that this is the change is because if we don't do this, we'll never find out about Will's parents fighting. If we never find out about Will's parents fighting, we would never end up alone with him in the hot spring who instead I know it's possible we can still end up alone without Will. Here the true alone ending. The alone ending without Will even. So yeah. We'll stay in class. Yeah. We can skip all this because it's the same. You know I wonder what happens if we fail our jam. I really wonder. Do we wanna find that out? Let's find out what happens when if we Okay, we are, I never read this text before, so that's why I can't skip it. Alright. Yeah, I wanna find out what happens if we fail the exam. So let's just fail it. It would be rude of me to ignore her any longer. I don't want Yui to get too lonely in my absence. Mm, no, you know what? I think... We'll, we'll find that out some of the time. We wanna get Shiro, yeah, that's my main focus. So let's study. We'll text Shiro, because Shiro is Shiro. And we study. And then we study. And then, great, this is all the same text, so we don't need to read anything, here. It will stop on its own, right? Yeah, it will stop. It stop. Dots. 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 Holy crap, the school trip is today, that's why I set an alarm, and Ryu didn't wake us up. I think that did it. That choice, my theory is right. I, I, I believe I wish I claimed the title of Professional dating sim player or expert dating sim player, I'll take either one or both. Yes, I am an expert. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Alright, I'm just, I'm just grabbing it now. Holy crap, the school trip is today. That's why I said an alarm. And if I'm correct, we should be getting Shiro sending. If not, I'll be, I guess I'm wrong. I can't believe it took me so long to realize that. Good thing I set the alarm earlier than I needed to be. I should start getting ready and make sure I have everything with me. Yes, my my check, and I have everything I need. Are you sure? I always have this paranoid feeling that I forgot something, but I'm sure it's all there. Yeah, I too. Whenever I go on trips like vacation or school trip, I always be like, have I forgotten anything? Have I? I feel like I'm missing something, even when I'm not. Sometimes I do miss something. I'll be like, oh damn, I forgot. I forgot my charger or something, or my towel or something. But then, even when I didn't forget, forget it, forgotten anything. I still get this paranoid feeling. Yeah, so I understand, buddy. Okay, good. Just be careful, right? And don't go wandering off on your own. Just stick to the group. Thank god my mom isn't chaperoning this thing. Mom, please, I'm almost 17 years old, I'm not taller. Just be careful around the water. Oh yeah, we drowned, didn't we? That's why the whole flashback dream thing. It's a hot, sp it's a hot spring, not, in the not the ocean. I know how to take care of myself, I'm not stupid. He did. You know that's not what I meant. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll text you when, I, when we get there. I walked over to my mother and gave her a kiss. I'll be going now. See you later. Bye, honey. Shiro? Or maybe this is still alone and then crap. <laughs> when I arrived at school, the number of people drifting around seemed much greater than usual. Everyone must be excited for the trip. I don't think I've ever seen the school so crowded. Or so lively for that matter. It's almost like people are happy to be here. Of course. Yes! We got it! Mm. Bam! We just got it! I'm an expert a professional! I scanned the crowd for any familiar faces, soon landing on... Shiro? Yeah... Yeah... I waved to Shiro and she waved back smiling, of course she did. Figures Shiro would beat me here. Yep, so basically that choice meant the impact at the ending, kind of. For my, for this picture at least. I should have gotten up earlier, then we could have walked here together. 
Let's not talk cross my mind view and make me both approach me. Don't get in the way of me and shoot them, you. Good morning, Hideaki. Get out of my way. <laughs> I want shield now. I, I, I kissed Ryo for the last ending, like not even another girl. I kissed freaking Ryo, not like the same thing one being gay, but... This time I'm gonna get her. I, I have to. Yo, yo, Hidi. You two sure sound enthusiastic. Of course, I've been looking forward to this for months. And without exams out of the way, we deserve a trip like this. Exactly. Like you actually put any effort into the exams, Ryo. In fact, I'm kinda surprised he doesn't have makeup classes over summer. Maybe the teachers just didn't want to come in for his benefit. Come on, let's go inside. We'll sit right up to the back. We'll sit right up the back, so we can all sit together. Heck yeah. Um, you guys go ahead. I need to check on something. Real quick. Alright, alright. Alright, just putting on, just go for it, just go for it. Okay, we'll see, we'll save your seat. Let's get, let's get in, Matt. Okay. Well, it's nice to see those two getting along for once. At any rate, now that I've verified the existence of Shiro, Megumi and Ryo, that just leaves Shinatsu. What? You just verified the existence of Shiro? You're not gonna talk to her? No! That just leaves Shinatsu as well as a certain fiery red head. I start looking through the crowd, searching for the only student in our grade with red hair. Is Yui even going on this trip? It doesn't seem like her kind of thing. I, con I continued looking through the crowd, still without luck. Nope, I don't see her anywhere. No sign of Chinatsu either. Oh well, 3 out of 5 isn't bad. Ha, huh, sure they don't appear in this one. I guess I'll just get on the bus. And we don't even talk to Shiro. Come on, Shiro, no! Keeping my eyes peeled for familiar faces, I began to board the bus. We and Megami are right up the back, as so I was warned. She was sitting next to some girl from the class, though they don't appear to know each other. Oh, come on, Shiro, come on. I suppose I'll just sit to the back end. Eh? As I looked towards Shiro, I noticed Yui sitting behind her. Whoa, Yui's actually here! No wonder I couldn't find her outside, she must have been sitting in the bus all along. Yui's sitting by herself while listening to music. Yo, Hideaki, what are you waiting for? Just as I thought about sitting next to Yui, Ryo called out from the back of the bus. Ah, now this is the problem. You're not giving me the choice! What should I do? I already said to Ryo and Megumi that I sit with them, but I can't leave Yui all alone. It's not like you gave me the choice, I guess. This is what I'm talking about. Alright? Yeah. This is what I'm talking about. If there's choices that impact the possibility of other choices. So, maybe if I was closer to Shiro, I would... I'm not sure. To Yui, I would have gotten the option to sit with her. And that would perhaps put me down her route. But I'm getting worried now. I'm we're not sitting with Shiro. That's why I'm like, wait, why are we not with Shiro? Come on, where's Shiro? But we're not given the choice. So yeah, that's what I mean. If choices from previous like their yeah, previous choices affect later choices. In this sense. Not of course if the choice lead to an entirely different scene, then of course you'll impact choices, but you get what I mean. But I can't leave you here alone, but it's not like I have a choice. Oh, who am I kidding? You would rather sit alone? Besides, she still has Shiro in front of her, and Megumi and Ryo did save me a seat. I guess I'll just talk to Shiro and Yui later. And continue walking to the back of the bus. Ooh, this is going to be so exciting. Oh, sit down, Ryo. If you jump around like that, they'll kick you off. I'm sorry, I'm just having a hard time containing my excitement. Oh, I know exactly what part of the hot springs you're excited about. Ah, the bus is moving, but we have a long way to go until the resort, so let's play something. Yes. No argument here. This should be a fun trip. I am sorry I'm late. The moment the bus began to move, a soft voice drew my attention away from Megumi and Ryo. You know, I have a faint feeling that we actually ended up on Chinatsu's route, but we didn't. We even ignored her so many times. I I don't believe we can get her ending. Like, we have the tr option to go to the... La to the club, we skip that for Shiro. We had the option to talk to her. No, there's one time we had the option to go to class. We decided to walk by the bridge. We decided to skip it. We like skipped her quite a few times. I mean, yes, when we did talk to her, I was nice to her, but that's it. I I have a feeling that we may be on Chinatsu's route. There's no emphasis on Shiro, but then again, what do I know, right? The moment the bus began to move, yeah, she softball drew my attention away from Megumi and Ryo. I lifted my head, glancing to the front of the coach. 
finally spying the fifth and final member of my circle of friends. Should she not humiliate it after all, huh? I was beginning to think she'd be the only one to miss out. Or maybe not. Yeah, like I said, we did miss her. Miss her events quite a few times, so I doubt it. If it's, if we do get her ending, it'll be kind of weird. Like, how did we? We miss, we skip her events like a couple of times at least. Chenatsu fiddled with the hem of his skirt and glanced around anxiously. The teachers didn't acknowledge her, nor did any of my classmates, because she's a ghost. She's a freaking ghost. They all continued chatting, oblivious to her presence. Maybe this is why Chinatsu didn't want to go on the school trip to begin with. Putting aside how poorly she dashed with crowds, being not like that, can't make her feel any less anxious. I looked at the person sitting next to me, silently contemplating my escape from Ryu's side. As I checked out the remaining seats, however, I realized that the seat next to Yui was the only one left. Even if I managed to ditch Ryu, I wouldn't be able to sit next to Chinatsu. The only way I could make that happened would be if I convinced Yui to swap seats with me and I know there's no chance of that happening given who I'm sitting next to. I looked at Chinatsu and smiled in an apologetic manner, shrugging my shoulders. She caught my gaze and smiled back as she walked towards the back of the bus, taking the only remaining seat as she did. Yui captivated by her handheld game console. I wonder what she plays. She's playing though. Didn't even seem to notice as Chinatsu sat next to her because, you know, ghosts. Annoying the girl as naturally as everybody before her. I guess that's the fate of a latecomer, huh? Oh well, I'm sure things will turn around once we get to the resort. Or not. Damn it, Ryo, I told you you can't move that way. Wow, that's stupid. You're telling me that my horse can't just plow through the pawns? We aren't playing chess, you idiot. This is Chinese checkers. Oh, uh, I thought we were playing backgammon. Dude, how are we supposed to play backgammon without a computer and with only three people? Well, I don't know what game you're thinking of now, but this but it isn't backgammon. <laughs> Man, I'm so confused. Why can't we just play video games together like normal teenagers? Stop it! Cut it out already! Oh boy, they're not hitting off too well. Just try and make me. That doesn't help. That doesn't belong to you and you know it. Correction, it didn't belong to me. But I've grown rather attached to it. And now I'm claiming it as my own. You can't do that. That can work that way. <sighs> and they were getting along so well at the start of the day. Why not? That's how you take your claim, isn't it? That's not how I... No, wait. You're right. I did, didn't I? And that's exactly why it's not yours to take. Well, these two fighting over something stupid is nothing new. Even so... Uh, guys? Can you, I don't know, let go of me? And surrender you to him? Never! Oh, so they're fighting over you. Great. You want me to yield your heart to her? Over my dead body? Honestly, I don't even know how this argument started. All I know is that I can't feel either one of my arms. Great. With two broken arms and an equal number of bleeding ears, I finally spotted our destination. Oh, thank god we're finally here. I thought I was a goner for sure. Oh, it looks like we've arrived. Huh, well I'll be damned. I swear, the second I get out of here... After departing from the bus in small clusters, all of the students and teachers made their way to the resort. We signed in, underwent a roll call, and began to branch off into our own little groups. Wow, this place is amazing. I've seen hot springs, hot springs resorts in magazines and on TV, but I never thought I'd actually get to go on one. I wandered further into the building and saw teachers handled miscellaneous arrangements with the resort staff. Man, this place looks expensive. If we weren't getting a discount for going with the school, I'd never be able to come here. Of course, it might be better to come alone or with a special someone. Mm hmm. Being here with the rest of my grade is just kind of noisy. Dude, can you believe this place? Talk about luxurious. I can't wait until we get to see the girls fresh out of the bath. Speaking of noisy. While I can't say I disagree with what he said because you are a freaking perv, some quiet time away from view would do me a world of good. So, ready to go check out our room? Eh? What do you mean our room? Come on dude, get with the program. It's two people to a room. And who better to bunk with than your bestest buddy in the whole white world? A jaguar? A jag! Oh, I get what you're saying. You do? Of course! 
Seriously though, I never thought you were the type to go after older women. I knew he was talking about that, and that's cougar, not ah. No, yo, that would be a coup. Ah, never mind. Let's just go look for a room. By speaking to our teacher, who referred to us, who referred us to one of the resort staff members, Rio and I were able to find out. Whoa, this is better than I expected. Yeah, man. Now this is what I call a room. We got a view, easy access to the hot springs, comfortable bed. What more cool guy want? Wow, this room is actually having a positive, a positive effect on Rio. Honestly, I thought he'd be hung up on the fact that the next room over has. Better yet. The ghost room is are only a few steps away. You could sneak in there in the middle of the night. We're gonna be doing that and then we'll be bumping the shield on tree. And nobody will ever know. And there it is. Well, whatever you had planned, call me out. What? Hideaki, I don't know what you think I had planned, but I am offended. All I was suggesting is that we quietly walk into the girls' rooms, sneak into their rooms, run me through their things, steal their panties, Move them around while they sleep. More or less sleep. <laughs> More or less sleeping girls. And record our exploits. Video evidence. Hideaki, why do you keep interrupting me? And just what the hell are you talking about? Oh, it's nothing. I was just recording your confession in terms with the jury will understand. Dude, not cool. You're supposed to be my partner in crime, not a snitch. Aiding and abetting. Not with my rap shit. Not my rap sheet. You're not fun. What if I'm gonna go soak my head in the hot springs? You coming? Well, it is why we're here, but... Do I really want to go in right away? It's bound to be crowded. Huh. Oh wait, this isn't even a choice, so why did I save that? Yeah, it's not a choice. Alright, do I really want to go in there now or later? That depends. I think I'll go in later. Let's see how that... Turns out for it. Now I'm gonna have to pass. I'm feeling kind of cursed from the car ride, from the ride over. I probably pass out if I go in now. Oh, okay then. Well, don't strain yourself. Just rest up and await my triumphant return. Triumphant return? No, he couldn't be. Even Rio wouldn't be that brazen. Paying Rio no further mind, I walked over to one of the bits to lay down. Ah, this is actually pretty comfortable. There's a nice breeze coming in from the window and the blanket is warm, the bed is off. My bed is off. If I'm not careful, I really might... Uh, do you off. And you do you off. Is this the bad choice? Eh? What the hell, Wham? As I looked around the room, I recognized the scenery outside, through the window, and I immediately remembered where I was. Right, the hot springs. Man, I must have fallen asleep as soon as my head hit the pillow. What time is it anyway? I turned on my phone to check the time. 11.45 PM? What the hell? Unbelievable, I slept the whole first day away. Sensing that someone, something was amiss, I took another look around the room. Hang on a minute. Where's Rio? I checked the bed next to mine but found nobody there. Strange, did he return to the wrong room? Nah, knowing Rio, he's probably raiding some poor girl's belongings. As I wondered where Rio might have gone, one other possibly popped into my mind. He couldn't be going for a late night dip, could he? Oh, did that made us... Yeah, of course, we did slap here when we first came. I think we made the, right, the wrong choice, maybe. The hot springs are bound to be quiet at this time of the night. It's actually the perfect time to go in. I'm not sure if we're allowed in at this time of the night. But if we are... Huh, the lights are off. I guess we always in here. Oh well, that just means I get the place to all to myself. Isn't it beautiful? Eh? Shinatsu? We got Shinatsu? That's why I'm like, wait, do we? Despite being convinced that I was alone, another presence made itself known. In front of me stood a person who, no matter how much I wanted to talk to them, I couldn't. Shinatsu? Yes, yeah, Shidiaki? Shinatsu looked at me in a confused manner. Why are you doing here so late? Were you about to get in the hot springs? Not exactly. I didn't come here to bathe, I just wanted to look at the stars. The stars, huh? You like looking at the stars, Chinatsu? Mmm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's not that I don't want to continue here, but... It's not that. Um, actually it doesn't matter which one I load. 
go in now. Why did we get Shinatsu? What happened to Shiro? Ah, uh, what am I saying? Where, where are the hot springs? What else do I do with myself? Alright, I'm in. That's the Hideaki I know. Just give me a second to grab my camera, then I'm right behind you. You know, I actually kind of hope he's planning to use that camera to peep on the ghost. I don't want to think about the alternative. Ah, now this is the life. Slowly roasting in the steam, lapping up the rage, just chilling with my bird. I don't even know where to begin correcting that statement. You ever been to a hot spring resort, Jidiaki? Nah, I've never lived close to one. And my mother's idea of a vacation is a little more extreme. It's nice to finally have the opportunity though. Couldn't agree with you more. Ahaha, <laughs> stop it! No way, I've been waiting all day to do this. Me too, and just look at the size of those things. I do not know who's talking. Guys, cut it out. Before we knew it, Ryo and I had pressed our ears to the partition between the boys and Bath and the girls. Okay, great. Dude, are they talking about what I think they're talking about? I am not usually want to encourage Ryo, but in this case... God, I hope so. Really? Stop it, I swear I'll tell the teacher. Oh, don't be like that. Oh, look, I'll show you mine. I, I don't want to see that. I told you, I don't swing that way. Like that matters. Come on, get that cute little tush over here. Kya! Yeah, seriously, cut it out! Haha, <laughs> just self and plum, I'm envious of your future boyfriend. Yes, this is totally what girls do in the bathroom. Totally, not awkward at all for them. I mean, I guess best friends might, wouldn't mind, I mean, might do something maybe along those lines, but. You know, I doubt. I mean, this is a guy's fantasy, but I doubt it's. Realistically, I doubt that's the case. Most of the time. Uh, I gotta, I gotta go to the toilet. Me too. Yep, me too. One by one, the boys on. Oh wait, that's the guys. One by one, the boys on our side fled the hot spring, all hiding their shame as they did. Oh, I see why they need to go to the toilet. Oh damn. Uh, don't read too much into this, but just go. No sooner had the words left my mouth than Rio took off, following the same sequence of events as all the others. I thought about doing the same, but then I realized something. Am I the last one left? Well, if I'm the only one here, then I guess it doesn't really matter if I stay or not, huh? Yeah. Unless another guy comes in, then you're like, oh shit. I waited for further scandalous revelations to pour over from the girl's side, eagerly awaiting a continuation of the playful conversation from moments ago. Is that the last of them? Yeah, seems that way. Instead of housing promises of skinship, however, I was greeted with something far more realistic. <laughs> I can't believe the boys fell for that. I know, right? Just how stupid are they? Eh? What? You can do that? I thought they said you, you can't just enter the boys, do that, and then enter the boys without. What about other, what if other guys enter? You wouldn't know. Ah, <sighs> eh? Seriously, boys, only ever think of with their genitals, huh? Filthy animals. Oh, like you all want to talk? I seen the way you look at Akira from class. From class? What? I do not. Yeah, yeah, we all know what's going on there. Just like Megumi and Hideaki, anybody with a brain knows to keep their distance. Huh, what are they talking about? And how did this conversation suddenly become about me? Really? I don't know what she sees in him. She isn't the only one either. Not that I ever named names or anything. Oh please, I know you're just dying to fish. Hang on a second. Are those girls saying what I think they're saying? Nah, couldn't be. They must have realized that I'm the last one over here, so now they're teasing me. Really? I always thought Hideaki and Ryo were an item. Yeah, in Ryo's dreams. I think you mean in my dreams. Yeah, mine too. Though I'm more of a Hideaki x Akira fan myself. Which Akira? Well, that was more than I needed to hear. It's probably best that I don't think too much about it. Though it was kind of flattering in a way. Really? Once the boys started to reappear in the hot springs, I made my exit. There were other bars I could have entered, once with fewer people, but after soaking for so long, I've had enough. Here, that was nauseating. Maybe I should have gone in so soon after getting off the bars, I, it really didn't help with my motion sickness at all. I should just go back to my room, lay down, and enjoy a nice quiet... Akikun! Oh god, why? Shiro! But why are you with Megumi? Come on, let's be alone. I mean, I've tried so hard! 
<laughs> I'm, really I'm just real for God's sake. I want to get my shiro ending. Ah. Ah, it is Hideaki. I see you went in straight away too. Yep, I just couldn't help myself. For better or worse. Shiro and I hit headed straight in after inquiring about Mix Bath, of course. Mix Bath? As in boys and girls together in the same bath? No, no, Megumi was in, no, Megumi wasn't serious about that. Eh? Of course I was serious. After all, what's the point of coming to a hot spring resort if I can't bathe with Hidi? Well, I'm going home now. See you later. Hey, don't be like that. I know you're disappointed about the mixed bathing, but that doesn't mean we can't still enjoy this trip. I don't think that's what Hideaki was getting at. Thank you, Shiro, for being this one sane person I know. Hey, hey, Aki-kun. Why don't you come to our room? Aki? I bought board games and Shiro bought snacks. So what do you say we have some fun? Who's Aki? Hideaki, Aki. Alright, then who's Akira? Board games and snacks. This isn't enough to learn. This isn't enough to learn in a child of the digital age, such as myself. At the very least, I guess I could invite Chinatsu along too. Why are you always thinking of Chinatsu? Well, I guess it's kind of rude to invite her and then just completely leave her alone because we did invite her. And then, yeah, I guess in that case, yeah, fine. But it wasn't my decision to invite her. I'm sure Megami and Shiro wouldn't mind. On the other hand, Chinatsu probably wouldn't appreciate being dragged along like that. She didn't even want to come on this trip. Even so. No, not tonight. Maybe tomorrow. Eh, why not? If it's because she will be there, I can always... No, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just tired. After the lengthy trip here, followed by a long show, I think I need some rest. Oh, I see. Well, that can be a help. I guess we'll see you tomorrow. Haha, <laughs> you know it. Hmm, now I'm questioning whether the choice to stay in the room, ah, uh, was the right choice, I know. Not letting the rejects shouldn't get to them, Shu and Megumi walked away without further complaint. I feel bad about turning them down, yeah, how could you? But I'm just not feeling up to that right now, alright. What I need now is rest. Given in, giving in to my earth, earthly desire, I returned to my room and hopped into bed. Ah, uh, this is actually pretty comfortable. There's a nice breeze coming in from the window, the blanket is warm, my bed is, is soft. If I'm not careful, I might, I really might, uh, doze off. Alright. Is this gonna be the same, eh? Can I skip? Holy crap, it's the same! We just missed that whole thing! Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. Interest- Wait, I can just save here. Blah. So, we just missed that. Huh. Interesting. Yes, um, a little. Alright, we know what happened then. It's a nice night tonight, so you can see them quite, quite clearly. Looking at them is relaxing, it always calms me down. She lets you turn her gaze away from me up to the night sky. Do you know what all the stars are called? No, of course not. There are more stars out there than any human can count. That alone name. Oh, I see. What about that one? That's Altair, right? I pointed out one star at random trying to dredge up names from my elementary school science lessons. No, Siri. No, silly, that isn't Altair. That isn't a star at all. Seriously? I didn't expect to correctly guess the name of a star I picked at random, but I thought I'd at least point to an actual star. What is it then? An asteroid? A comet? A moon? No, Hideaki, it's none of those things. Phew, okay. So my guess was in a complete embarrassment. It probably is a star, but with some obscure distinction that only a real enthusiast would. That's Venus. It's a freaking planet? Hmm, it is a little dim. You can't see Venus from here, come on. Without a telescope or anything. You can only see Venus on nights like this, when the sky is clear of, of clouds. Or maybe you can, and I'm just being dumb. But I don't think you could see any of the other planets from here. Can you not see it in Okutama? Sometimes, Okutama is only a small town, but some of the factories in on its outskirts fill the sky with smoke, making it hard to pick up some of the stars and planets. You get a much clearer look here, all the way out in the countryside. That was why I wanted to come out here at night. Huh. So it's the same sky, but when you look at it from a different position, you can see things you couldn't before? That's exactly right. It sounds rather meaningful when you phrase it like that, doesn't it? Like something from a Shoseki Natsume novel. I don't get that reference. If it's even a re reference. Did you know the moon is beautiful tonight? Chinatsu giggled at my quote. 
Couldn't you think of anything more original? I'm sorry, I'm not the best when it comes to my classics. That's about all the Natsume I know. At least I know a bit about him more than I do about the stars. It's alright, this isn't a touch or anything, I'm just... Chunachi turned to face me, blushing with a smile on her face. Oh, but it is already time, oh wow. Alright, so... Huh. I'll see you guys in the next episode. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitter at DMindGaming if you have enjoyed. Huh. I do not know whether we're actually gonna get serious ending in this path, but we'll see. So, I hope you guys enjoy it, and I hope to see you again in the next episode.